prices uh, were ranging in between 25,000 rupees to 50,000 rupees, and now the cap is 7,260 rupees. Now, what you have to also look at it from the perspective of why the government and how the government went about it was through a consultative process between the industry, the patients, the hospital groups, and they came to a conclusion in a very scathing order they wrote that they found huge unethical markups in the supply chain that resulted in irrational, restrictive, and exorbitant prices, and they've called this as a failed market system, and they said this pushed patients into financial misery, and which is why the government went ahead and has put price caps at such a steep cut. Uh, the two operative part in this order is one, that in the central government's uh, healthcare scheme, the stent prices were already capped. So the government, in the government schemes, it was already capped at around 13,000 or 40,000 odd rupees. Uh, but it is for the private hospitals and the private uh, 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 patients when they go to private hospitals, which is where the number of cardiovascular cases have gone up, angioplasties have gone up. This is where it will impact. And secondly, is that all the stents currently in the trade channel will also have to adhere to this price cap. Now, that is the operative part and will have to be seen how it is implemented. Also, all hospitals have to charge uh, stents in a separate bill and not as part of procedures. So from the implementable pr uh, implementation perspective, there is a still a question mark on how it will be done. Okay, still some answers to be figured out, but uh, the price uh, fall, if you look at the higher end of 1.95 to 30,000, is significant. Thanks, Arjuna.